What's up guys, more Cargo NG. Here to present you all with the final tour of our uh, PPIV Cove on Atlas. As we just found out that the uh, server wipe they're going to do is going to occur a lot sooner than we initially thought. We figured we had about six more months of playtime before this was going to happen, but came out today and said that they're going to wipe it by this weekend. So I wanted to get a tour well a couple days down the road, but I guess I'm going to have to do it now because there won't be any of this left after we uh, get through with this travesty. Everything inside the cove I've pretty much built by hand. Every little structure, every little <laughs> detail has all been me. Rensler helped with getting supplies for the most part, but I put together all the buildings. The wall took the longest because stone is one of the more resource intensive things to have. This building I never got to utilize, but I would have liked to have had more time to do something with it. All it is now is a vacant meeting room. Up there on the left is our uh, torture room, which uh, Rensler described in his, although he didn't hang himself or anything, and I'm not going to either. But I put all the mechanisms and traps and stuff you can ensnare a player in. A little bank over here, which is dwindling money now that there's a... Uh, Pretty much nobody playing, either from the news that the server's gone, going to be gone, or just the fact that they thought the first time that this happened they were going to be done. So, there's not going to be anything left, and money, as far as I can tell, won't really matter here in a couple days, so why even bother getting any more to maintain this claim on the land? My little uh, storage area up here with all the food we ever needed, all gone to trash here in not too long storage area holding area for our beautiful wolves which I will miss you too all the combat you've survived and our two bears also survived even more than those two have main housing compartment where we'd stay uh, gather our supplies repair stuff before we set out on a voyage I rebuilt all the ramps on the outside perimeter because uh, we had some trouble getting all the uh, animals back in from off of the boats. They kept sliding off the sides and into the water, so I made them double wide. I don't know if you can tell that from here. Made it a little bit easier to get them in here. Rensler completed the walking bridge here all the way across. Took him quite a while as I understand. Praised him quite a bit for getting it done because it is nice looking. I've recently added color to all the uh, lanterns on the island. We were going to anticipate having a Halloween uh, rave almost out here in our little cove. As you can see the giant rock formation above. But none of that's going to happen now either. My medium sized shipyard which I've only used once to build the boat across the way there, the Harbinger. Yeah, I pretty much streamlined the entire island so anywhere a person needs to get you can run from one side to the other pretty effectively including this uh, whole stair system here, getting up to my mansion house, which I don't think he had in his video. It wasn't put in yet. But this is my pride and joy of the server. The best design I could come up with for what the game allows. My semi-round table. There's no round objects here, so we went with squares. My little library or study room. I can have a seat for a little while and read. Little kitchen area. Got a couple... Uh, food supplies stowed away in there and a couple grills to cook up whatever you need. I think this is a guest room. Yep, guest room. Same thing on the other side. Actually, this is Rinza's room. I made a punching bag for him. A couple stairwell access doors going upstairs to the second floor. My room. Whoa, floating number. Didn't put a bed in yet because I hadn't finished it. Another guest room, same thing for the stairwell. A uh, pseudo office that I tried to make, as best as, again, you're really limited in design choices with the game. You have to get kind of inventive or just use your imagination whenever you put stuff down, but it's the best I could come up with and give you a nice little view of the ocean out there from this little window. But speaking of spectacular views, built a uh, stand-up uh, little dock here. I guess it's not a dock, it's just a... Uh, porch area kinda. It overlooks the entire island view. So I could stand out here and see anybody trying to come into the island. 
and perhaps even see any ships of the dam that might spawn way out there so we can plot our uh, strategy on how to deal with them sometimes because they may be in fleets of five ships or bigger and with only one of us it's kind of hard to uh, tackle that many at once but uh, it was a nice little venture to uh, play in this little entire house and it's just a shame that none of it's going to come to any use anymore because I don't think we're going to continue um, either building or playing Atlas for the most part because what's the threat of the next time that we get something you know of this magnitude again and then they're just going to wipe it because this is now the second wipe we've endured while playing on this same server and the devs have pretty much no excuse for it I mean they knew the first time that they lost over half of their player base from doing this and <laughs> you'd think that that would be a wake-up call enough to say hey we don't need to wipe the server ever again because look what happened last time well apparently that don't matter anymore because they're gonna do it once more and I really don't think anybody's going to want to come back to it. I mean, if you're going to treat your player base like that, who's going to stick around for it? Get you all one last look over here at the uh, castle, which is unfinished. It was so massive in size, we were really hoping we had a uh, few more months, honestly, to complete it. And not going to happen. All the time I spent... Um, building all this and there is a weird feature with the game that you have to maintain your boats every three weeks I believe which simply just means you gotta jump on them and uh, move them around slightly so that they're not just stagnant in one spot for that amount of time well I had a brigantine all the way across the way there over by that lighthouse if you can see behind it and I had a sloop which is a smaller version of the harbinger here and both of them despawned completely losing all the resources and all of the uh, materials I put into them and I got absolutely nothing for it you don't get any like half the uh, remnants of what it was none of the cannons off of it nothing it just is gone everything you put into it gone in an instant all because they think oh you were too lazy to go move your boats I'm like bitch I'm not lazy maybe I had something to do uh, at work or whatever and I couldn't get on in time for days on end you never know but uh all those ships are gone, and I'm like, I don't have the time to rebuild them or the inclination to even try again. The Brigantine's one of the most extensive boats to build. Took up over half of a uh, week's worth of harvesting, and that was at a two times rate harvesting. I don't want to <laughs> imagine doing that ever again. But uh, anyways, here's the uh, main entrance to the uh, castle. Couldn't put a red carpet, so you had to make do with uh, red paint. Put some of our uh, banner flags hanging up here with their full design which if I can get a better view here, it is a sprawled dragon with a um, peanut butter jar in its right hand and a IV drip uh, coming off of that, which signifies our name, PBIV, or peanut butter in your veins. A group Rensler and I created for pretty much, you know, lols and funny YouTube videos, but it's our main go-to uh, gaming group that we've uh, adapted over the years little check-in area here for the castle. <laughs> I don't know what you check into except to uh, go visit the king who I've put his uh, throne room back over here. Elevator leads to the upper floors which are of course incomplete as you can see. And then the main throne room. A couple skulls here. I don't remember who this one is. I know this one's my head from one point. <laughs> I got beheaded by the guillotine. Stole the head afterward when I respawned. But yes, the great empire of PBIV shall no longer remain. And what a shame it was. Take y'all back out here to the second floor. I think the only thing up here I put in was a uh, classroom. Actually it looks like a school classroom as best as we could do. If it were daytime you could actually see these are black top tables, but close enough couple of our rules kill shit make money help people pay money <laughs> arguably the uh, biggest um, thing to build in this entire thing was all the uh, floor pieces because the uh, amount of area you're dealing with here was absolutely massive I mean we're talking like 60 to 100 blocks wide I think at some points and it's all stone and as I said before, stone takes so many resources to make in this game exactly. 
And I'm like, I don't ever want to have to do it again. And <laughs> just the fact that we're trying to uh, consider redoing this is a, a pain to me, honestly. Just all the stuff I had to gather over the years. Well, not years. Years in game, maybe, but uh, months worth of uh, collecting and building and harvesting of all different kinds of stuff to make all these structures. And the thought of doing it again is, no, I'm not going to do that. This is my room I built in the castle. It's got the most uh, decorations in it. I was going to fire this, but I didn't actually load a cannonball for everybody and blow down the door. Since what's the good of having a door if there's nobody to come visit it anymore? A little detention cell. Get in there and lock yourself in if you feel so inclined. And then the last thing to go show you... I can get through the hole in the floor here. <laughs> like I said, it's an incomplete building. It's got a bunch of holes everywhere. This leads up to the top of the guard tower. And I got caught. So many stairs. Ugh. It's got even greater views from up here because you can see just as far as the other side where my old house is over there. Quite a bit of uh, purple and green for the Halloween to be event, which will no longer occur. Hey, I got some cannons in here. Let's see if I can hit something with it for you. It's going to be hard to aim this because you can't really tell what you're looking at. Best place shot, I guess. Eh, it may come up short. Yeah, it came up short. <laughs> Ideally, this was going to be a spot where you could, if it were PvP, you could blast at uh, enemy ships that were trying to get into your bay, hopefully take them down before they can offload uh, passengers and do any damage to you. But PvE, there's not really a threat, but it's cool to have them up here, especially for the looks of the rest of the castle. Take a zip line down here, show you the rest of it. this little uh, area here because we kept getting attacked by lions and cobras every time we'd uh, run out here to this far island. So I solved that by putting a bunch of uh, uh, swivel turrets all around it. And here's the beer hall. Never used. Had enough chairs to have a lively uh, get together. And if anybody was too rowdy, you know, just drop the old shing. My other beach mansion house, one of the first houses I built on this side of the island. At the time, it was one of the uh, easier ones to build because it's all out of thatch and wood. It doesn't take quite as much to build all that stuff. I believe Rensler went into depth with this one, so I'll spare you some of the tour of the rooms. But again, this is one of the most picturesque coves we've ever found in grid B12. And we could all, of course, do it again. Always going to run into the issue of having to gather everything three times over just to get it all back. And I'm not really sure it's worth it anymore. Uh, I got our giant lighthouse over there and in front of it, hard to see right now, but the uh, Church of the Dam that I built. And funnily enough, when the uh, last times we were on, go over to the uh, Church of the Dam because I heard movement, look inside and actually had spawned an army of the damned inside of it. I'm like, did it spawn because I named it a Church of the Damned? I'm like... It can't be, but we got looking closer and it looks like uh, some random player had run by and it actually had a treasure map in there and they always spawn on treasure maps. So that's what we figured it was. But I'm like, what are the circumstances that I built it right on where this guy's treasure was? So thankfully they weren't too difficult to deal with, but they did take out most of my chairs so I have no, <laughs> no uh, congregation anymore unless you want to be the only one sitting in here. Get up on the pew. I think I had that lever there on the side for a uh, trap of some kind. I don't know what it was going to be, but maybe a uh, activated catapult or something if somebody would sit in. Yeah, you know, stupid stuff. If there's anything you can do to be completely verbose in this game, because anything goes pretty much. The last little addition to the cove was the uh, far side island here. I completely surrounded with a perimeter wall made out of thatch because it was quick. A uh, little cooking area again for any guests that we might entertain. A couple chairs and stuff out here. Named it Sunny Beaches. Like I said, since there's not many decorations in this game, you have to make do. I did come up with a uh, hanging area. Anybody that's uh, not worthy of being in the cove anymore can uh, equip this. 
I'm not going to do it. I need to show you the rest of the stuff. Got my guard towers. Built two of them. One's on the other side. You probably already saw it. Get another good view of the ocean. That island across the way there is one of the ones I would go to to get uh, massive resources of fiber. There was a small segment of the southern side of the island that had massive plants of fiber. Really useful in making all this thatch and stuff. But on our island we had nothing similar so I'm like, damn it, every time I need to go get more supplies gotta hop in a boat and go sail across. Another bank over here just for looks. This one's not really used to keep uh, money um, for the island. It, it, it transfers all the money from one bank to the other, but this one's just for a uh, cosmetical look. Same thing for this guard tower. Looks exactly the same as that one over there. A couple small houses I threw in. If someone wanted to make a claim on the island and live here. This little weird water barrel looking thing is actually for your uh, crew members. You can put gold in there and food and they can eat from it or pay themselves as they need. A couple little workbench areas for different things you might need. Out to the front dock here. The unfinished ship, which was going to be our pride and joy of our fleet, is no longer going to be completed. I didn't even have a name for it yet. I had the uh, Brigantine in the past was called the Ed Monitor, named after a Star Destroyer. Um, I won't have the honor of naming this bad boy, but it's nice to uh, look at it for what it would have been. We actually put a, a figurehead on the front there, giant silver dragon. I was actually probably going to paint it gold later on to match the rest of the uh, cove colors, which is uh, navy blue and gold. Let's see if I can get a front view of it. He's beautiful looking. Look at that beast. I would say Dracarys, but I don't want to burn anything up. So yeah, the poor brigantine, it used to sit right up here along the side next to the galleon. And we would take it out when we were going to do battle. Even though it was only the two of us, we could still try to do battle on small ships and stuff. But, a shame as it will always be. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, short preview of the Cove. Um, we'll be bringing you more updates of something else, most likely. Um, I can't guarantee that we'll bring any more Atlas footage, because this is a damn low blow to every player that's uh, put in a lot of hours towards this game. And, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later.